Day 24 of the 30 Day Challenge of January 2020. How did you do today? How did you do? How did you do today? For those of you new to the 30 Day Challenge, we did this in November. We did this in December and now we're doing it again in January. Basically, you say to yourself, you take inventory of your life and you say... What are some things or one thing that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I just always procrastinate about? Not something really hard like building a house, unless you've been building houses and you just want to build another house. Something small, but something you just never seem to do. Like some people who were making art and jewelry said, I'm going to commit to making two pieces every single day, no matter what or five pieces, something that's a little bit more than they normally made. And some other people said, I'm gonna to commit to doing this many push-ups, sit-ups, I'm gonna walk this far every day, a specific amount. Uh, some people said, I'm gonna clean a drawer in my house every day or part of a room. Some people said, I'm gonna wake up at a certain time, go to bed at a certain time, fix my sleep schedule. Basically, um, it's a little bit of a push more than you normally do, but, um, not something that's so stressful that you wake up every morning like terrified because it's so hard to do. It's actually exciting because it's easy, but you just never gave yourself enough of a push. Well, now you have people all around the country who are going to be holding you accountable. As soon as you see this video, you tell me in the comments what your goal is to do each day and then look for this video every evening. It's evening my time. It might be morning your time. I don't know. But once a day around the same time, usually between 9, 10, or 11 Eastern Standard Time, I will release a check-in like this. This is a check-in for day 24. And, and when you see that video, you put in the comments how you did that day. And if, even if you messed up, you put it in the comments. You just be honest. And um, very few people hit their goal every single day. Um, I, mean, I think some have, but if you even hit your goal every other day or you hit your goal two-thirds of the days, it feels so good. And then certain days you try and you might hit half your goal. And that's still a gazillion times better than what you used to do when you sat on the couch and just thought about it. So we, I say this in every video and I'm just going to keep saying it. If you get off the couch, you're already winning. If you try to do your goal and you only get 10%, you're winning. If you make your goal just one day, you're winning doubly. And if you do more than your goal, you're winning trip, triply. Tripoli is a city, but jump in. The only losing is staying on the couch and thinking. Thinking and not doing has got to be one of the worst possible things I could ever think of, and yet 80% of humans, that's how they live their lives. You, like, if you could peruse people's minds, you would just find huge, fascinating universes of beautiful dreams that they never took a step towards because tomorrow I'll get to it. Next month I'll get to it. Next year I'll be in a better position to start. And next month, next year, tomorrow never comes. It's never better. It's never, never ideal to do the thing you really wanna do. Because the thing you really wanna do is a little bit hard, just a little bit, just enough that you stay on the couch. So tomorrow turns into 10 years, turns into 25 years, turns into 45, 50 years, because tomorrow will never be better. Today is as good as it's ever going to be. So get off the couch. And if you're terrified that it's going to be messed up because it's not ideal, then get off the couch and take 10 steps and see how you feel. If you feel like it's getting worse and worse and worse and everything's falling around you, run back to the couch. See, nothing hurt. Nothing hurt you. you. You tried. You got scared. You ran back to the couch. I guarantee you will feel better sitting on that couch thinking about how you took 10 steps than every other day that you never even got off. So get off the couch, take 10 steps, and if you're scared, you can always go back. But I bet you'll find that those 10 steps are not as bad as you thought, and then you can take 10 more. And it might be a little struggle, it might be a little pinch, it might be a little pain, but it won't be as bad as you thought. And after 20 steps, you'll be like, I can do 50 steps. And before you know it, you're doing the very thing you always told yourself you wanted to do. 
So join our challenge and jump in today. There's six days left. You can change your life in six days. And this will be a good start. If six days doesn't seem like a lot, just consider it a practice run because in February we're going to do it again. How are we going to fit 30 days into February when it only has 28? Because we can do stuff like that if we push it. We have ways. Or maybe we'll just pick a shorter amount of days. But we're going to do this every month as long as I feel like it's helping everyone. And I think that's going to be a pretty long time. So tell me in the comments how you did. See you guys soon.